So they're not closing? What's happening, good people? I foresee a revival in three to four years that puts them toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sweetwater. Not my own words, came directly from Guitar World Magazine's website, and the link will be down in the description below. The latest news in the Sam Ash music saga is apparently they've been acquired by Goner Music. What does this mean for the rest of the musical retail industry? Stay tuned to find out. Who is Goner Music, you may ask? While well, doing a Wikipedia search, really nothing turns out. Well, almost nothing. But if you do click on the wrong link, make sure you delete your web browser history before your mother freaks out. Delete. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Click history. Emails. Delete. 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 Goner Music is a Mexico-based music company that purchased basically the name to Sam Ash and plans on turning it into another Sweetwater. If you aren't aware of who Sweetwater is because you've been living under a rock, Here's a quick little advertisement for them. Sweetwater, where we get musicians hooked on candy because cocaine is currently illegal. Back in March, Sam Ash announced that they were closing approximately 18 stores that were underperforming. And then soon after that, they probably took a reevaluation and decided to claim bankruptcy and close down everything. It appears that this deal does not keep those stores open and is just intended to make the store a bigger online presence. In retrospect, the owners of Sam Ash said that they probably should have closed some underperforming stores years ago to keep up with the times and to keep the profits, but they really valued the brick and mortar type store. I do miss the day of mom and pop stores and even the major retail stores being out there to go shopping instead of just doing it online. Don't get me wrong, I love watching and purchase frequently from Sweetwater. They are currently not a affiliate with this channel. Sam Ash cited the pandemic and the increase on the online market purchasing as their downfall. So what does this mean for other retailers like Guitar Center? Who knows, but hopefully they take it as a sign as to up their customer service game. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. Don't, don't care? It's a problem of motivation, all right? Many of you have stated that when you go to a Guitar Center that it hasn't been all warm and fuzzy. I know from my own experience, from where I used to live and there was a guitar center, that it kind of seemed like it was a little bit of an inconvenience for them to help you when you're trying to make a purchase. Will this be a success? I guess only time will tell. There kind of was and still is a little bit of a stigma with some people with made in Mexico Fender Stratocasters, and especially with this growing wave of Chinese cheap guitars. So for an American iconic name to be owned by a company out of Mexico. You all have been a wonderful audience, and as always, stay tuned.